In this video, I'm going to show you how I made these LED shop light fixtures. If you have a few scraps lying around, then you can get away with only purchasing the bulbs. These bulbs came as a set of four on Amazon. I've put the link in the description. The good thing about them is they also come with a set of tombstones that we will use on the powered ends. We will have to make a set for the non-powered ends. I started out by making the tombstones for the non-powered end of the bulbs. These will only need to support the bulb and won't have any electricity ran to them. I traced the outline onto some half inch MDF. You can use whatever scraps you have available. I added some center points and used the drill press to make the holes that the prongs will sit in. Next, I cut them out on the scroll saw. Now you will need to make a slot for the prongs to slide into. I used a drill bit for the entire thing, but you could probably get better results with a sharp chisel. Now it's time to decide how far apart you want the bulbs. The standard two bulb shop light is about five inches wide, but I wanted mine to be farther apart, so I went with a 16 inch wide base. The next step is to mount the tombstones to the base. I used a single screw for the powered ends and glue for the non-powered ones. When you mount the wooden ends, use the bulbs as your guide to make sure the spacing is correct. Now we'll start on the wiring. Drill a hole in front of the two powered tombstones and feed the wires through to the back side. Be sure to add a junction box to keep all of the connections contained. Feed the wires through the box and then connect them according to the instructions. I didn't use the ground wire since the entire thing is wooden and non-conductive. Add a plate cover and that wraps up the wiring. The only thing left to do now is mount it to the ceiling. I used two screws per side. I also finished wiring the other side to one of my existing lights. Now you can install the bulbs and you're done. Make sure to put the label side of the bulb into the powered end. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you like this video by giving me a thumbs up.